Hi, my name is John. I've got a website called That's Just Fly Fishing where I talk about some of my fly fishing adventures and review gear. This past year when Patagonia and Danner announced that they had collaborated to create some new fly fishing boots, I knew I had to purchase those boots. My wife and I both owned a pair of the Danner wading boots back in the early 2000s and I actually have a pair, a new pair of old stock that I haven't put in circulation. I will at some point uh, wear these, but I love these boots. Um, at that time, they were $150 back in the early 2000s, which was pretty steep, expensive for a fly fishing wading boot, um, but not by today's standards. And so this past spring, I purchased the uh, River Salt boot, and I wore these to do some backcountry hiking, uh, hiked up in some alpine uh, areas to fish lakes and streams, even took these down and hiked uh, all along the river and the dream stream section of the South Platte. And if you've ever done that, you know it's a lot of hiking. These were super comfortable, great ankle support. One of the most comfortable pair of shoes that I own. I've even uh, been seen to wear these at the office. So recently, I decided to go ahead and purchase the foot tractor version of the Patagonia and Danner collaborated boot. Uh, I wanted something a little bit beefier that I could wear if I were to go down in the Cheeseman Canyon uh, and do some boulder hopping along there, or if I was fishing the Eagle River and had to uh, hop around on a lot of boulders, a lot of granite. And so I just uh, got those. I ordered these from the Denver Fly Shop. I wanted to open them up with you. And so uh, here it is. I love the smell of that new leather. Man, it reminds me of uh, the mid 80s when my grandmother bought a new Mercury Cougar. Had brand new leather in there, smelled so good. But here it is, the Patagonia Danner Foot Tractor. Just like the other two boots I showed you, it has a Norwegian style 360 degree welt around the sole. These are full grain leather. They are, uh, the leather here is impregnated with a saline solution. So that really helps prevent on the shrinkage. It helps it prevent, prevents uh, from absorbing water as well. This is a thousand denier uh, nylon material here that will uh, help prevent any uh, abrasion or scratches through that. Um, these eyelets here are corrosion resistant. And up here it has some speed lacing eyelets. That makes it a lot easier for getting on and off your boot. Um, the River Salt boot that I had, uh, it did so well at uh, not soaking up water on this leather that literally there were a few times overnight uh, my boots dried. One thing that's really important is to take out this insole inside the boot because I noticed I didn't take it out and there would still be moisture on the bottom, but I always take out this insole to make sure that the boot dries completely. Uh, on the bottom here, it's a real sticky Idra grip by Vibram, this sole right here. And also, it comes with some extra shoelaces, but in addition to that, you've got these aluminum screws that you can put into the sole if you need some additional grip. They're especially made for that. So I can't wait to get these boots in the water. Uh, I'll be writing about them on my blog, just testing them out, everything. So, hey, uh, best thing about these boots, made in America. Love that. Also right here, there's some perforation in the leather. That's just to help release all uh, water that might be absorbed inside the boot. So thank you for watching. Keep coming back to my YouTube channel, uh, watching any updates for videos or uh, product reviews. Thank you.